show you how much battery is left. Oh, it doesn't matter. Leave it, leave it. Well, we're on a dirt track. Oh, hang on, we've just gone back to Bitchman. Uh, in amongst the farm of uh, wind turbines. They are massive. Absolutely massive. I know that it won't uh, show up much on the video, but they are huge. us, or did he behind us, and we're heading towards Amiens, I think. Um, we're about 200 kilometres south of Dunkirk. Uh, we've just had a quick beer at uh, one of the little villages along the way here. We're heading towards Dunkirk. We're a hundred and 10 kilometers from there and uh, yeah having a really enjoyable day the riding has been great roads are good and we've we've been through all of the uh, war monuments and uh, references to the war periods so uh, yeah all just about everyone in France smokes it's it's great to get out of the uh, places that you go into because they just stink of cigarette smoke. getting references from behind me. Uh, it's part of their culture. And here we go off this track. I hear you mate. When we get to uh, Dunkirk, we're gonna, or well, near Dunkirk, we're gonna have to pull up and find ourselves some accommodation and it's currently half past five in the evening so it'll get yeah just looks like early afternoon uh, should be getting dark around 11 o'clock tonight here we are in Tilloy or something like that We must have been through oh, maybe 50 villages today. <laughs> you, you, uh, you do your 30 kilometers an hour through the town, which you could only go faster if you got off and walked. Um, over, over the speed bumps, around the chicanes, and uh, then you. Uh, get out the other side and you go for it. <laughs> yeah. uh, tell about the architecture that is brick. Yeah, uh, we have seen a bit of a change in the way the uh, buildings look. Uh, they've gone from gone from plaster to uh, brick buildings. Hey. Anyway, and we're winding our way through the farming fields uh, in in Belgium. Um, yes, we we snuck across. Oh, that's a rattly old bridge. Yeah, very New South Walesish. Um, 
yeah and we're heading on our way to Bruges where we will overnight uh, tonight and uh, yeah. when we came into um, Belgium we weren't even aware that we'd crossed over the border until all the languages uh, and signs were a little bit different there's not much on these borders anymore. We were very worried about having to have the right paperwork and uh, stuff like that, you know, uh, COVID certificates and everything, but there's just no, no borders at all, really, asking any of that information. So it's been good. Welcome. Ah, we are in Belgium. I've finally seen a bar. <laughs> we were. We were struggling to find just a pub of any description in France that uh, was uh, very poor for tourists. And yeah, there's another bar. Another bar. We're definitely getting in the right direction. We're getting uh, multiple bars to choose from. Yeah. And. Uh, Yeah, so hopefully when we get in town to Bruges, we'll uh, be able to sample some Belgian beer, Belgian waffles, and uh, Belgian chocolate. All the important things in life. Okay. I love these. I love these uh, narrow roads through the fields. They're good fun until you hit some of the speed bumps in them. Not intentional speed bumps, just the deterioration of the road. They can uh, launch you. All you see is where the diffs have scraped on the on the bumps. Certainly more cyclists around in Belgium than there was in France. Yeah, and a lot more motorbikes. Pretty little place in the corner here with the flowers outside. Yeah. Where they are. Could be French tourists. Ah. That was a big drop. <laughs> oh boy. I hope uh, GoPro takes this out through their stabilization. Getting shaken all over the place. Yeah, and you can't see the big bumps in the shadows. So, yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Cross the bridge. a bit of a mix this one looks a bit French
I do, don't I? I thought, let's go along the waterway. It'll be beautiful. I wasn't wrong. All these bloody Dutch cyclists have come across the border to get in the way of us tourists. up here where we're going to turn right is where that other cycleway will come out so for the sake of like a hundred meters and the freeway is just to our left Someone found that tree very inviting, obviously. They got uh, crosses and stickers and signs, everything all over it. Someone. Quite a nice road, this. Yeah. It's, very, uh... it's narrow, but then it's <laughs> it's wider than some of the mountain roads that we go on, yeah. <laughs> and it's much better condition. It's just <laughs> <a better place>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there we are. We've caught them up. Yeah. Did it like because they went through the tunnel. We went around because we didn't cheat. Left. Left. Big churches, there's no doubt about that. going back on itself in here to the left uh, yeah yes. where's the hotel oh, to the right oh. yeah it's all right yeah Turn right. You got yours open as well? Because I get the reflection and I can't see a thing of the screen. Scooter parked up there. That's right. Yep. It's on the side of the Yep. 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 We've just left the city of Gent or Ghent 
and we're running through the back roads on our way to Antwerp on what I think is a bicycle track I don't know, street signs okay the day after Rotterdam we're uh, going to be scooting alongside a few canals on our way into Amsterdam and uh, we've come across a couple of bikers on our path oh yeah we're a gang um, yeah the road's pretty narrow um, but so far we haven't seen a 30 km an hour, uh, 30 km an hour speed limit so it's okay although these guys are going slow um, allows us to take in some of the countryside yeah, really nice. Yeah, a lot of these uh, places are very picturesque. Yeah, there's a row of houses uh, on our left, and then directly behind them is some sort of a canal. <coughs> their boats and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, some of these houses are very big though. They go back a long way. That's certainly an original one. <coughs> yeah, very authentic. Oh, the chiclet coming the other way. Oh, yeah, cruiser rider. Boulevard leading into Amsterdam city. It looks really pretty. Some of the houses along the waterway or the canals heading to town have just been amazing. Huge places. Everyone trying to have their own castle. Good morning. We're uh, just out of Amsterdam, heading south towards Tilbrook, and uh, got a nice road along the waterways, it's uh, really beautiful this morning. The day is uh, a little bit brighter as well, hopefully no rain today. Everyone seems to be bringing their car with them them transport once they get to wherever they're heading I suppose. Yeah it's nice. The weather is just right today. Welcome. Hello folks there's apples growing everywhere. All the other usual staple crops as well. Just had a nice lunch stop and uh, we're continuing our merry way towards Tilburg. Uh, probably still about another 65 kilometres to go. But it will be on very narrow roads like this, which are almost like a footpath. Pears on the left.
sorry about the sniffing, but uh, there's nothing I can do. It's just a nice little forest that we've found after having a coffee break a little while ago. Yeah, we're just out, just outside of Tilburg. Uh, there's lots of little camping places and cafes. Yeah, it's very pretty. Okay, we're starting out our day today with the ferry crossing. We were in the caravan park up on top of the hill there. We're now crossing, looks like the Mass River, which has had quite a few uh, large cargo vessels come through during the night. It's a beautiful day. Doesn't look like we're looking at any threat of rain. Yeah, which is one of the few days that that's been the case. We've been at it for four weeks now. 